We're out in the, out in the woods, uh, keeping our daughter Izzy. Um, Maisie. Well, Maisie is Isabella <laughs> Sermon, is the actress. Uh, Maisie Lockwood. We've essentially at the end of Fallen Kingdom, we decide to take her under our care, and she's been living with us for four years as the world has quickly advanced. You know the proliferation of dinosaurs all the way around the world and this technology wreaking havoc. Each of the other previous films were about a group of people who went to an island that may or may not be safe because there's dinosaurs on it. This film starts in a completely new status quo on the planet and it takes our characters on a, on a global adventure. I also had a job which was to listen and to understand you know, Laura and Sam and Jeff's uh, perspective on how those characters have changed or whether they've changed at all and uh, how they would see the world uh, as it's evolved. Emily and I as storytellers were showing them the proper respect and just trusting that they've been these characters for 30 years. They're to me the authorities on these characters and so I would never tell Laura Dern how Ellie Sattler feels, I would ask her. That's good. It is. I'm alone at last. Exciting times. Yeah, I'm living the Alan Grant life. It's just gonna be lonely. So free. Once I put the clothes on and I was walking into a tent at a dig site and there was Dr. Alan Grant. That was it. It was like it was 1993 all over again. My love and appreciation for Ellie and all that she is and deserved to become sort of came back. It was really a, a thrill. And then to be with both Sam and Jeff Goldblum was crazy and a dream come true. Ellie Sattler. Alan Grant. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? Sam Neill, by the way, Sam Neill's the coolest guy. He's the coolest guy I've ever worked with. I, I gotta say that, that's a fact. I just was like really, really excited to like learn from them, but also because they were such a huge part of my childhood, it was just, it was really exciting for me. And I was really, I felt very fortunate to have that moment. It was super surreal. They're great folks, great people, amazing actors. And Top of their game. It was a masterclass. And we felt really lucky as well that, that they were so supportive of us and everything that we had been doing for a couple of movies, right. you know. At the end of the day, we always were, were reminding ourselves that we were making a Jurassic Park film. You know, it was Jurassic Park 4, 5, and now 6. And that all began with that legacy cast with Michael Crichton and with Steven Spielberg. And so to get to be working with them is a tremendous honor and so exciting. In 1993, no one was thinking about franchise. We were just making a film with Steven Spielberg. And he was attempting, with the use of CGI for the first time on a movie, having dinosaurs walk amongst us, uh, based on this great Michael Crichton book. So it felt so radical and innovative that there was no part of us that thought we would ever be coming back to it. And that's been an amazing conversation. What would it feel like? Who, how would she evolve as a woman, as a scientist? And how would these two worlds come together? The Jurassic Park family and the Jurassic World family. So that's been a, a great journey. Jurassic Park is in our DNA, it's in our blood to be able to have our legacy characters come back and show you know, our respect for the past uh, while also knowing very clearly what we want to say, what our movies were about. Uh, it's just been really satisfying. Don't, Don't move. Bigger. Why do they always have to go bigger? 